William and Harry reunited last week to unveil a memorial statue of Princess Diana at Kensington Palace, prompting claims that they had moved past their rift. However, sources have alleged that, it is going to take a lot more than just a couple of conversations to repair the damage that has been done, by the Sussexes' royal exit and subsequent bombshell interviews. The brothers' relationship is still clearly far from the closeness they once shared. Harry, William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, used to work together regularly, sharing projects and focusing on their shared platform, the Royal Foundation. They established themselves as such a strong team that, reportedly, the Queen even had fears they were going to become, too separate, from the rest of the palace machine. Royal author Robert Jobson claimed that she expressed these worries to William. Writing for the Daily Mail, Mr. Jobson explained. Indeed, it was she, the Queen, who made it clear to both him and his brother that their Noble Heads Together mental health campaign appeared too separate from the rest of the royal family and the traditional type of engagements expected of the family. Heads Together is a 2016 initiative launched by Harry, William and Kate through their charitable platform, the Royal Foundation, which aimed to break the stigma surrounding mental health. It was immensely successful, and the three royals championed the cause by disclosing their own mental health struggles in candid conversations and working with charities and celebrities to get the nation talking. But, Mr. Jobson noted, William has total respect for the Queen. When she talks, he listens. She is the one person, perhaps with the exception of his wife Catherine, who is able to pull him in line with a quiet word. Sources also told him that, Harry and William have by no means always shown proper respect to the Prince of Wales and his office, and were not trying to upend the hierarchy of the monarchy by their new campaign. However, it was not long after that Harry and his wife Meghan Markle began pushing back against the firm and its strict pecking order. A decade after he and his brother had first set the Royal Foundation up, Harry decided to break away from it so that he and Meghan could pursue different charitable causes through their now defunct organisation, the Sussex Royal Foundation. At the time, Kensington Palace said, these changes are designed to best complement the work and responsibilities of the Royal Highnesses as they prepare for their future roles and to better align their charitable activity within their new households. But, the dramatic split only added to growing claims that there was a rift between the two royal couples. Harry also split his royal household from the Cambridges, and moved out of Kensington Palace, where his brother and sister-in-law live, into Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. According to some reports, Harry and Meghan even attempted to set up their own court in Windsor, only to be shut down by the Queen. Their offices were merged with Buckingham Palace instead. They did have their own public relations chief and separate Instagram account for a brief time, but within a year of setting up their own royal branch in Windsor, the couple announced they were stepping back from the firm. Harry and Meghan have repeatedly attacked the palace machine and those who work within the firm since leaving the royal family last March. Both claimed William and Prince Charles are trapped in the system of the monarchy during their Oprah Winfrey interview, while Harry said his grandmother the Queen had really bad advice from her aides. Harry also said that his relatives only know what they know or what they're told suggesting they all exist, in a big royal bubble. While the Sussexes gradually pulled away from the palace machine before completing cutting ties with the institution, William appears to have leant back into it. He and Kate have become the stars of the royal fold during the pandemic by increasing their online presence and public appearances. The Cambridges have also brought out their own YouTube channel and launched major charitable missions the Earthshot Prize and the Centre for Early Childhood, which has only increased their popularity amongst the public.